Okay, hello everyone, and my name is Sakina, um, this is Peter, um, and we'll be talking to you today about sensory and autonomic ganglia. Okay, um, just to start with some revision, um, so basically imagine this is a, a neuron, this is the axon, um, this is the nucleus, and these are my fingers of the dendrites, and this part of the neuron is called the cell body. And then when we have um, a ganglia, it's basically where we have a cluster of cell bodies together. When these cell bodies are clustered together in the CNS, they're called nuclei, but when they're in the, um, in the PNS, we call them ganglia. Okay, um, and when it comes to a sensory ganglia, um, these emerge from the dorsal root of the spinal cord. Um, as you can see, this little bulge here, that, that's where the ganglia is, as opposed to um, the, vent um, the ventral where we have the motor neurons. You use the screen back into recorded. Oh, cool. Okay, um, so where do you find these ganglia in the autonomic uh, nervous system? Um, in parasympathetic, um, they'll be found in the walls of the um, affected organs. In parasympathetic, um, we find them closer to the paravertebral and prevertebral chain. Um, and these occur where the preganglionic and postganglionic neurons um, synapse together. Okay, um, and so this is a, a brief overview of the, of the difference between the two. Um, so at the top you'll see a sensory neuron, um, and it's quite quite unique in the sense that it has almost like two axons, one reaching out to the peripheries and one reaching out and grabbing onto the, the spinal cord, and they meet together in the middle, and that's why you call it a pseudo-unipolar neuron. Um, and that's contrasted with the um, autonomic nervous system, where we have multipolar um, neurons uh, with many dendrites. Okay, um, so these are a few... Um, Cape cranial nerve ganglia that we find. We're going to focus quickly on three. So, um, firstly, there's trigeminal. Tri meaning three. Gem Gemini meaning uh, twins. So, it's called trigeminal because of the three uh, um, three divisions um, supplying three different parts of the face: the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and the mandibular. Um, secondly, geniculate. Um, and it's called geniculate um, because the knee, geniculi, geniculus, of the facial nerve, i.e. where there's a sharp bend in the course of the facial nerve. Um, and this supplies um, sensory nerve to put the inner part of the ear and supplies um, a special sensation to the taste, i.e. the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. Um, and finally, um, retinal ganglia. Um, so these are basically optic nerves, um, are CNS fiber tracts, um, with their cell bodies located in the retina. Um, and so the optic nerve begins where the unmyelinated axons um, of these retinal ganglial cells, where they pierce the sclera and then they course down um, into becoming the optic nerve where they become myelinated. Okay. Um, and now Peter's going to speak about autonomic ganglia. Hi guys. Um, so there are four main autonomic ganglia. Uh, the ciliary ganglion, which is the ganglion of cranial of three, the otic ganglion, uh, cranial of nine, uh, Togopalatine ganglion, which is cranial nerve um, seven, along with the submandibular ganglion, which is cranial nerve seven as well. I should just note that the vagus nerve ganglion are actually in the effector organs, um, whereas these sort of are distinct locations in the head region. So the ciliary ganglion, now where is it? It's located between the op optic nerve and the lateral rectus muscle, close to the apex of the orbit. I'll show you a picture in a minute. Um, so here's the ciliary ganglion in there. This is quite a... Can I stop you a minute? Uh, at the top there is an arrow. How do I move that? Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is the ciliary ganglion here. It's quite a crude cartoon. Um, but the fibers that pass through are the sympathetic uh, nervous system fibers and uh, the preganglionic um, neur neuron of the parasympathetic and the postganglionic uh, neuron of the um, parasympathetic um, synapse here. And the preganglionic neuron is from the oculomotor nerve, and the postganglionic is the short story nerve. Um, I should just note as well that um, the sympathetic nervous system, the postganglionic fiber, comes from the internal carotid plexus, um, and that receives sort of um, nerves from the superior cervical chain. Uh, so, what do these do? Well, cranial nerve, the sensory part of the ciliary ganglion, which isn't shown in this picture, but that um, sense is sensory for the cranial reflex. Sympathetic nervous system causes pupil dilation, and parasympathetic nervous system causes pupil constriction. 
Uh, some clinical stuff is what we've just done in, um, in the lecture before, so just read about it yourself. Um, this picture is just to emphasize what I was talking about, and yeah, the, here's the apex of the, um, of the orbit um, there, and that's where the serial ganglion is. Uh, the osic ganglion, another crude diagram, is here. Uh, where is it? It's inferior to the foramen ovale of the sphenoidal bone. Um, nerves, sympathetic nervous system passes through here, and um, the synapse bet uh, between the lesser pedrosal nerve um, happens here. Um, interestingly, um, the postganglionic fibers um, of um, that pass that synapse at the otic ganglion actually hitchhike along the erectilotemporal nerve, which is a branch of cranial nerve, uh, the trigeminal nerve, the third part. And like you find that a lot with um, the parasympathetic nervous system, kind of like hitchhikes along the trigeminal nerve, um, and it acts on the parotid gland um, and in, like increases decreases secretions. And instead of the um, internal carotid plexus, it's actually the middle meningeal plexus, which is interesting. Here's another picture, and here's foramen ovale there. Um, the togo palatine ganglion. Um, you've got... Uh, is the largest ganglia, and um, the greater progesterone nerve goes here. And the sympathetic nervous fibers also pass through this ganglion, and they come from the internal carotid artery via the... Um, the deep progesterone nerve, which isn't actually on this diagram here, but sympathetic nerve fibers pass through the pterygopalatine uh, ganglion um, through the deep progesterone nerve. Um, and this supplies innervation to the lacrimal glands and the mucosal glands of the nasal cavity and the uh, nasal pharynx. Um, and like I said, as aforementioned, uh, hitchhikes um, via um, a branch of the trigeminal nerve, this time it's the maxillary nerve. Uh, submandibular ganglion, um, another facial nerve um, ganglion. Um, Preganglionic fibers is the corda tampani, um, and then the cord and that nerve itself hitchhikes again along the lingual nerve, um, which is a branch of cranial nerve, uh, the trigeminal nerve, again, but this time the third part. Um, and again, you have the sympathetic fibers to pass through this ganglion as well, and they come from the superior cervical. Um, ganglion. And what they do is they um, regulate secretions again, but this time from the submandibular gland and the sublingual gland. So parasympathetic increases secretions and sympathetic will decrease secretions. Uh, this is kind of a summary slide just to sort of sum up what we've said already. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So the, uh, we've pretty much said pretty much all of this. But things are different is that the sensory has large cell bodies, uh, the autonomic has smaller cell bodies, and satellite glial cells, which are supporting cells of the um, nervous system, they form a capsule around each cell body in the sensory part, and in the, um, in the autonomic, they, they're more sparse. So thank you for listening. Cheers. <laughs>
have to say I'm going to sit. Right. So, um, well, I mean, um, the reason why we ended up doing this session is because one of our uh, registrars actually failed an MRCS exam because they didn't know the difference between these two. That's, that's the kind of basic information that's required. And in many ways, it's sort of things that sometimes we think we've taught, but actually thinking about it, the elaboration isn't so clear. If you look at the difference between uh, those two here, you can see one, what, the, what the difference between them is that one actually is just like you said, pseudo unipolar cell bodies or bacterial neurons. And the other one actually is a site of contact for synaptic functions in the autonomic nervous system. So when you're looking for drugs, uh, administering drugs uh, in terms of um, uh, trying to interfere with autonomic function, it is, it is these ones lower that you are actually ta um, targeting as opposed to the top ones. So I accept the material is quite, um, uh, is actually quite turgid. I, I, I agree, I think it's quite hard. But I thought you did a fantastic job. Mm. As for this illustration, this is gold. This is gold dust. Uh, because uh, I, I was wondering how I was going to bring this up. But actually, you've done a fantastic job with it. So you, you deserve commendation for it. So it doesn't matter how difficult the subject is, students always rise up to the challenge, as far as I can see. So thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Are, there, are there any questions from the class? Yeah. Do, do you have a question? Yeah. You have a question? Uh, I just wanted to speak to that direction of the eye. Oh, that's uh, just the way um, the sort of ash potential moves along. So sensory comes from the peripheries into the um, that's meant to be the spinal cord. Yeah. Um, and sort of yeah, it's the direction of the ash potential. Yeah. So one is afferent and the other one is efferent. So in other words, you could have said uh, one type are afferent ganglia and the other one are efferent type ganglia. Um, where's the picture? Uh, this is how what we imagined it. We imagined it was like um, it was just it's a really long axon, but there's lots of them. Um, does that answer your question? <laughs> so it's not like loads of little neurons synapsing uh, long. It's just how I pitched it, what I gained from it. It's just one many long. Neurons. Yeah. 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 Is that right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, put it this way, you know the uh, the guys doing the induction to phase uh, phase two now. They just know this new. So well done to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.